78, 78. Aha, so I am believing for my house and you are believing for your house. Are you believing the word for your house? By believing that, that we trust God, imputes our own faith. Like he did Abraham or Job. When Abraham believed God, God counted for him as a righteousness. When Job believed God, God counted him as a righteousness for him. So like he did Abraham or Job, or any of them for righteousness. So it's allotted to end for righteousness. When you believe this perfect truth then God is counting you as a righteous person and that's how thou that thy household shall be saved hallelujah Amen. oh I think it's a wonderful thing so then not only that but I'm holding for every brother all my brothers my sisters I am not only holding for that, but I am holding for every person that is in my church. Are you in that church? The church of the end time. What, what is the meaning of the church? The call of people. So you are among the call of people. When you follow the message, I am holding for you all. I want you to hold for me because of the righteousness of faith. We don't have to make a burnt offering. Christ is our offering. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. The anointed word is our offering. Amen. And we have to have faith in that offering that Christ made. Hallelujah. Amen. The finished word that has given us, have faith in that. How do you have faith in it? Anything he says, take it to be yours. Not for anybody. For yours. Hallelujah. That he made us his kings. He made us his king. Okay. That he made us this kind. Promise. That whatever you ask the Father in my name, that I will do. Yeah. Hallelujah. When thou prayest, when thou prayest, believe that you will receive that what you have asked for. And you shall have it. Do you see that one? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at verse eight, uh, paragraph 80. Now, I am praying uh, that God will save these children. children. And I believe with all my heart he will do it. Hallelujah. See that same way Job stood. Hallelujah. Amen. Job stood for that until all the children are saved. Though the children died, you are safe. He's going to meet them there. That's what they said in this message. Hallelujah. Amen. The only thing is that if the truth is for you, you don't want to tend to it quickly. To show forth the victory. Don't quickly go there and oh, in there. So the prophet said, though they died, Hallelujah. Uh, Job is going to meet them there. So what it means is that the children of Job who will now listen to the word God gave those children to him after the first ones are dead. Amen. Amen. We know, we hear that God replenish everything twofold to him. For him. So the prophet said, the way he was trying to intercede for all those children, 
They were not lost. They were all made him dead. Maybe they were not ready to listen to the faith of uh, Job at that time. Those who came later, they have a word. Amen. Amen. So whether the child is doing whatever, 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 once you have your salvation, he has the salvation the same. Yeah. Yeah. When you read, he says sometimes you even leave the world before they will come into the world. Because once you are saved, your household is saved. Amen. Amen. I would like to read it plenty, but I want to jump to something. Amen. Amen. The 97, let's read something from 97. If you can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, not only for salvation, for yourself, for your loved ones, for the healing of the child, the child, or for a mother, or for anything that you desire, that's right. And you know if you desire something that wasn't right, you wouldn't have faith enough to ask God in the first place. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you know it ends right. See, if you ask sincere and know that that's right, then you can ask God with a clean heart. Knowing is no selfish motive. And your objective and your motive is exactly right. Then ask God. And like a child, believe you get it and you get it. Amen. Amen. Now, I came to Christ when I was about the age of one of these boys here. I guess I was about 20 years old. I served him all this time. And I am 52, be 53. And I can sincerely say that I have never asked Christ sincerely for anything that is now that really sincere as him. Even if that was not that was for right, but what he gave it to me. Or told me why he couldn't do it. Hallelujah. And then later on, I found out it was a good thing I didn't get it. He said when he was about 20 years he got salvation. That's the prophet eh? then. About, about 32, 33 years. All the prayers and everything he asked God. God had been doing it for him. Right. And he said, the one that God did not do for him, he let understood that better that God didn't uh, do that to him. Hallelujah. It means that if you ask something truly in the word, and the answer has not come, don't worry, that is good. Tomorrow you understand why it should not be like that. Without that, everything you ask sincerely according to the word, God must do it in order to remain God. That should be our faith. Amen. As we are going to pray this evening, he was about 20. He has been asking God when. 
up to his 53 years God God has been been him all the way Amen. Amen. if he did that for the prophets